Today we honor and remember Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This April marks 50 years since his death. This is video from the 1964 March on Washington where he delivered his I Have a Dream speech. That paved the way for Civil Rights Act of 1964. While Dr. King's life was cut short, his legacy we know lives on. An annual breakfast in the Twin Cities is all about remembering his message and focusing on how it still applies today. Mm -hmm. Mary McGuire is live at the Armory in Minneapolis where that breakfast will happen. Good morning, Mary. Hey, good morning, guys. Well, today is the only federal holiday that is marked by a day of service. And a theme throughout the years has been a day on, not a day off. Another tradition that has been happening for many years is the annual MLK breakfast happening here in Minneapolis. I'm joined now by Carson Funderburg, the manufacturing director with General Mills. First of all, thanks for waking up early with us. Oh, glad to be here. Thank you. Now, this is the 28th year that this breakfast has been happening. How has it evolved and grown throughout the years? Oh, my goodness. So, first of all, we're going to have the largest breakfast ever, over 24. 400 people. Uh, this started 28 years ago, and we're proud as General Mills to be hosting this event with, with the United Negro College Fund. And uh, you do have a little bit of star power when it comes to the keynote address. Explain who will be giving that address a little bit later this morning. Yes, David Oyelowo, who was the star of the movie Selma. Uh, he starred uh, as Dr. Martin Luther King, and so he's going to bring the embodiment of Dr. King to this breakfast and really help us live our vision that we have um, for the breakfast. And looking around the room, uh, seeing the posters, they say building bridges for a bold dream. What does that mean? Well, Dr. King had a very bold dream, a very bold dream. And we've had several civil rights speakers in the past. And we know that David Oyelowo today is going to, Oyelowo is going to bring, build the bridge for us today and really help us think about today's current events and how we think about his dream in today's contemporary state. And a lot of people do have the day off of work today, so uh, they might be celebrating by relaxing and things like that. But uh, Dr. King wanted people to go out and give back to the community. Oh, absolutely. And in fact, today we're going to be announcing some speed volunteering that we can give back, that folks can give it back today, as well as 14 corporations are coming together as part of the corporation community giving process to, to volunteer with their employees uh, in food banks this week. So continue to, to volunteer and give back. That was part of the dream. And such a special atmosphere here at the Armory. And just looking around the room, it's gorgeous. Newly renovated uh, for Super Bowl activities. Why have the event here? Well, this event uh, allows us to have more people uh, than we've had been able to have at the convention center. It's a brand new facility. We're talking about building bridges to a bold dream. Another way to build a bridge is to go someplace different. And so we're excited to be here. Exactly. And it's just uh, it's just beautiful looking around. Again, that breakfast does get underway at 7 o'clock this morning. Uh, I'm very excited to hear what David Oyelowo has to say. Loved him in that movie, and I think that uh, he is such a powerful speaker already. But to have him up on the stage is going to be really cool. Absolutely. Really great mm -hmm. new venue too, so should be a great event out there, Mary. Thank you.